Hello guys, Mr. Danamon2050 here. Welcome to the second part of my guide where I show you how to build a gaming PC. And yeah, we're going to start off the video guys by just installing our optical drive. As you can see here, look, we took off the metal piece that's on the front of the case. And this allows us to slot in an optical drive. With this case, you can potentially plug in two. And uh, yeah, so for this build, we're going to be uh, actually installing one. We don't really need more than one in my head, unless you want to go over a Blu-ray player. Anyway, you want to lodge this in here using the two clips that I've just been pressing down. And then once it's in, push it a little bit forward and it should go click and now it's kind of locked into place. And as you can see from the front, it looks a little bit normal and with it being black, it uh, yeah, looks like it's now part of the case. Now, as well as it's actually clipping in, what you want to do is you want to put in some screws onto the side. So as you can see, they've been doing here, we're screwing in some screws. There's typically two on this side and they'll typically be one or two on the other side as well. You don't need to do these really tight, but just uh, ensures that it's... Uh, you know, mounted in the case, um, you know, firmly. Now next up guys, we're going to be installing the back plate. You actually get this piece with your motherboard, because everyone's different, but in terms of the size, it'll fit in any case. So as you can see here, look, we're going to be installing it. I actually installed this the wrong way, as you can probably see, but um, yeah, you, we we actually noticed that when we actually came to install the motherboard, which you'll see in a little while. But uh, yeah, if you put it in the wrong way, don't worry, you can just flip it out and put it in, in the other way a little bit later on. So that's how you put that in. Now, when you're installing graphic cards and also say like Wi-Fi adapters like we are today, um, yeah, they're going to be kind of sticking out of the back. So you've got to take um, these little metal parts off here, each uh, screwed on with a screw each. And uh, yeah, typically you want to take two off for a graphic card and also one for each kind of expansion device, say, for like, um, you know, say a network card or, or something like that. Now, next up, guys, we're going to be installing the hard drives. As you can see here, look, we have a Seagate Barracuda 2 terabyte, and then we also have a 1 terabyte here. And then as well as that, we also have a Mushkin Cronus SSD. This is a SATA 3 uh, SSD, 240 gig of goodness, and now we're going to be installing our operating system, which is Windows 7, not Windows 8, not terrible, and also all you know core programs and some games. Now, what you'll get with your actual case is um, some of these here. Look, you get some of these clips, and yeah, you want to put them um, on each side of the drive. You want to literally press them together they can be quite difficult to get on but once you've got them on as you can see in the video now you're going to be installing these on your hard drive and also your ssd and yeah you're going to be sliding these into your case typically hard drives go on the bottom and ssds can go in the middle there we are sometimes you will need to use velcro to actually put your um your ssds in your case somehow mine's just mine is actually uh, just velcro to the back which is perfectly fine because ssds don't move so uh yeah there's no no disadvantage with uh, Velcro in them on. So as you can see, look, we now have um, three drives. So we have two terabyte, three terabyte, 3.25 terabyte of storage. That's all good. Now, what we're going to be doing now, guys, is installing the standoffs. As you can see, look, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got another one here. And you've also, and, and then you've also got another three on the top. So it's nine in total. There's eight in currently. I'm just going to put the last one in here. For some strange reason, this one wasn't already put in, but... Uh, depending on what size motherboard you go with, um, they're going to be different. So that one's now screwed in. So as you can see, we've got nine. Standoffs are just here to prevent an electrical kind of short. Because the motherboard cannot touch the case because the electrical will be flying all over the place. Now to install the motherboard, you're going to be needing nine screws and also a screwdriver. And as I said, if, if you're installing a smaller motherboard, um, you'll typically need six and not nine. Anyway, you want to line this up with the back plate that we just put in. In which I kind of said, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to put it in backwards first time. But it doesn't matter at all. You just flip it out. As you can see, look, um, the standoffs um, are kind of, you know, poking through the holes in the, in the motherboard there. And yeah, you just want to put in the nine screws in there. So I'm just going to show you putting a few of these screws in. We all know how to put screws in holes with a screwdriver. Uh, very nice and simple there. So, as you can see, camera work is a little bit shaky, but oh well. Things should get the gist about what is actually going on. So you've got nine screws that you want to be putting in. And uh, yeah, this is going to fix the motherboard to the case. So, so then you can stand the case up. So just putting one in there. That's going to fasten that in. You want to do these pretty tight. And then just putting a second one in there. And then etc, etc. You know how to put screws in. That's all good. Anyhow, we're going to be installing the power supply. And as I said, we've got um, an actual Corsair RM650. So this is going to be installed at the bottom with a fan facing down. And as you can see, there's a load of cables. We've plugged all the cables in. Um, typically, the way I want to do it is, um, well, should I say, typically the way I put a computer together, if, if I don't use any cables, I, I will then unplug them later on. Now, yeah, you want to be just pressing your actual power supply just to the, literally, just the bottom left of the case. 
and you want to push it right to the back and as you can see there's some screw holes so one two and three you want to put them three screws in and then uh, yeah it'll be all be good as, as you can see on the, on the top left it looks like there's a hole there for a screw but on this power supply there's only three so you know keep it like that so one goes in there this actually this screw i will not lie was actually really difficult to put in and i was like i can't get it in so <laughs> it's weird but um yeah I've, I've no idea why so now i've got all the three screws in we're just going to tighten um the last two there which i did off camera so there we are power supply is now installed and uh yeah, as you can see, we've got loads of cables. Now, with these cables, you want to what you want to do is put them through the hole on the case. So you want to push all the cables through to the back of the case, because then we're going to reroute them in um, to the components when they need them, and that's going to allow us to have a much cleaner um, cable management job. And you'll see that at the end of the build. And yeah, you'll see how good the cable management is because that's one thing I wanted to prioritize in this build, and something that my friend Damon wanted. This build is not personally for me. But, uh, you know. <laughs> anyway, so now the power supply is installed and all the cables at the back. Um, what we're going to be doing now, guys, is connecting some power. So that's the 24-pin um, power cable for the motherboard, and that one there is the 8-pin for the processor. Um, a lot of people say that one's also for the motherboard. Yep, it goes in for the motherboard, but it empowers the CPU. Now, as I said, we're going to be threading the actual um, cables back through the case to then power them. So I'm just going to put that through there, and then plug it into there. So as you can see, Cable management is is uh, good when you do it this way. Because then you don't have cables all over the place, literally. So that goes in there. Like, these cables can be difficult to put in if if you just bought a brand new power supply. But uh, yeah, you'll get them in eventually. Anyway, we're going to be installing the eight pin. I, I don't I don't know what the camera angle is like, like for this one, but you know when you're building in uh, um you know a, a mid range slash. Um, uh, as a small PC case, it's not the easiest thing to do, you know, filming at and also building at the same time. But uh, hopefully, you can get the gist. And typically, that cable is always at the top left, so yeah, that's all good. So now that's installed. Anyway, now that the power is installed for the motherboard and the CPU and stuff, we're going to be putting some front panel connectors. So this one here is a USB 3, it's a very, very distinctive plug USB 3, and it's always blue, always blue. I've, I've seen it brown once in my life, once, but uh, yeah, it's um. It's always blue. That little connector there is if you don't have USB 3 on your motherboard. Um, so then you just install just a standard kind of you know USB 2 to that. As you can see here, this is just a different camera angle. This is the USB 3 front panel header. This basically allows us to plug USB 3 flash drives and all that kind of stuff into the front of the case. Because if you plug anything into the front of the case right now, nothing will work. Nothing will work. And yeah, we're plugging them kind of cables in right now. So the front panel connectors. Anyway, next up we're going to be installing the audio cable. This allows us to plug in headphones and also uh, microphones to the front of the case. As you can see here, look, the actual cable says HD audio. And as you can see printed there on the motherboard, it says audio at the bottom left. So we're going to plug that in there. Very, very small cables these, but they're... Uh, you know, they'll go in there eventually. So there we are. Next up, we've got USB. So just plug it into any of these at the bottom that say USB. I, I actually plug it into this right one here, and I noticed it went it went uh, exactly um, in the center of the camera. So I took it back out and plugged it in there. <laughs> it kind of proves that, yeah, you can plug these in wherever. That kind of gives you the, uh, the, the heads up there. So there we are, USB is now installed. So next up, we're going to be installing these very, very, very tiny cables. These are stuff like the power switch, the power LED, hard drive LED. And these um, are literally for the switches and the lights that are on the front of the case. This motherboard does communicate with the case and you know tell it what lights to be showing and stuff like that. Here's things here, look, we've got power switch, we've got reset switch, and also the hard drive LED. With some, you will get different ones like an actual power LED. You don't get one with this case, which is quite unusual, but you know. So they're going to go in there, very, very fiddly indeed. Um, one thing I, I was doing is looking at this uh, manual. Damon was doing a bit of filming here. Damon's not the uh, most brilliant cameraman, but as you can see, look, you get the gist. This here is just the manual you get with your motherboard. I do advise you strongly to look at it because it'll tell you where these cables go. In my case, the hard drive LED went on the bottom left. And so there we are. The next one, which was the power switch. So see there, look, the power switch. That one went on the red contacts there at the top. And then, just glancing over to the manual, I saw that the reset switch went just below the power switch. So I decided um, to actually take the power switch back out, plug that one in on the bottom there. Oop, there you are. They are fiddly. They are fiddly indeed. They're very, very small. So I put that in there. And then, yeah, we're going to just plug in that cable again. Voila. 
And now we have some buttons that work and some LEDs that light up. All good. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of part two. To watch part three, we're going to be finishing off the build, installing the graphics card, um, installing data and power to the actual hard drives and SSDs and whatnot. And then that will be it. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching up to now. And the link is on the screen in a bit. Goodbye.